Number two, Emily Tomakowski is the yes, first yeah. senior. Okay, Emily Tomakowski. I know for a lot of people here today, it might be a little strange to hear me call her Emily instead of Pom, but I know it's a little thing that you appreciate a lot, so I want to value that for your senior day. So that being said, Emily and I had our first encounter back in high school when we played each other in conference. And I had a little bit of a different view of her then because no matter where I hit the ball in the outfield, she always ended up catching it. It was a little frustrating, but I'm glad that I have you on my team now. <laughs> okay, we're back. Emily is so dedicated to everything that she does. You can see her true dedication through her resilience in her years on this team. These past four years, she's put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and now she's on the field every day, bringing her A-game. Emily was one of the first people on this team to come up to me and make me feel like I truly was a blue hole. Whenever we had some extra time together outside of practice, you always wanted to get to know more about each one of us as a person. It could be something as simple as what is your most embarrassing moment, but you always wanted to know. Your curiosity about other people is an attribute of you that I know will lead you to an exciting and adventurous life. Emily, I truly hope you know how impactful your friendship has been to me over these first couple years of college. This friendship has been so valuable in helping me start college for these first years, and I know it will continue to be great in the years to come. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's not fun. Although I'm sad you're going to grad school pretty far away, I know you're going to be incredibly successful because I see how passionate you are in the sports and recreation field. Not only as my teammate, but as my friend, there's going to be some big shoes to fill. I love you, Emily, and I'm excited to keep watching you grow throughout these years. Next senior is number five, Leah Wolf. For those of you who have only seen Leah on the field, you've probably seen a second baseman who talks a lot, fields 70% of ground balls on her knees, and whose passion and love for the game is contagious. But Leah is much more than a softball player. Leah has made a great impact on this program, and although we will miss her competitive nature, we will also miss her caring, loving, and genuine personality. Leah, since day one, you've been there for me, both on and off the field. And I know I'm not the only one who can say that. You constantly remind me of the bigger picture, and that after four years, when we hang up the cleats, it isn't our stats or the wins and losses that we'll remember, but instead, we'll remember the teammates we've met and the memories we've made. I know it may not always feel like it, but know that when the time to hang up your cleats comes this spring, things will be okay. We both know they'll be okay because God has a plan. And we both know that this plan may include failure, but through this failure, we're given a chance to grow. And by, by this failure, we know that being unsure about our lives is okay. It's okay because God has a plan for us. He knows, just like the game knows, and just like your mom always knows. <laughs> Sarah and Kurt, you've raised a beautiful young woman. You should be proud of not only what she's done on the field, but in the classroom and in the lives of others around her. Leah Wolf, I'm not exactly sure how I became such good friends with a huge Badger fan, but I'm thankful you've been put in my life. Thank you for all you've done for this program. You are truly a leader on and off the field. Your knowledge of the game, your competitive nature, and your desire to always be right and your savant self will be greatly missed. Our next senior is number eight, Abby Shaler. about Evie. First and foremost, Evie wants us all to believe that she doesn't like us. <laughs> she may have 
have some of you believing it, but let me tell you, she cannot fool me. There's a soft, mushy heart deep down below the surface. I may have fell in love with her first, but she definitely loves me back. I see her fighting back laughs and resisting smiles, but not all of those smiles come from me. Because the second thing I know to be true about Evie is that she loves this game. Evie smiles because this chick is full of passion for the game of softball. All jokes aside, she is truly an inspiration to me. Not because of the stats or the awards, but because of her confidence and attitude on this dirt. She doesn't overthink things. She doesn't worry about what people think of her. She just grits her teeth and gets it done. We all know she doesn't say much, but if you pay attention to her, she says it all in the way she does things. She steps up to the plate with so much intensity and humility at the same time. She makes impossible plays look easy. She's always consistent in her mentality. She never gets too high and she never gets too low. She finds the happy medium between urgency to get the job done and having fun with every pitch. She's someone you can count on. Evie reminds me why I play college softball. It's a privilege, and I can see how much Evie cherishes that. She shows her gratitude for this opportunity by striving for excellence each and every day. The final thing I know to be true about Evie is that beyond this dirt, she's going to be very successful and happy. All of the qualities I just spoke about, those are going to take her places. She's going to find a career that she's passionate about, just like she is about softball, and she's not going to accept anything but her best every day. Evie, I can speak for the entire Blue Gold community when I say that I'm incredibly proud of you and so thankful that you chose to join our team. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. We, but mostly I, love you. <laughs> now let's make your last year of softball count. Our next senior is number 13, Sam Netzelman. <laughs> Sam, although we didn't become such close friends until after our first season together, we are far from short on our memories. Throughout our two years together, you have been nothing but a great friend that I can always count on. Whether it was morning practice, conditioning, bus rides, or games, you have made each of these experiences enjoyable for myself and everyone else. You are one of the hardest workers I know. You have constantly been pushing people to be a better person in your years in the Blue Gold. I have never met someone excited when coach says we are conditioning today. <laughs> your sassy comments and interruptions will be missed. You may not talk a lot, but when you do, it's worth listening to. Throughout the four years in the blue gold uniform, Sam played in 96 games with 175 total at-bats. Through all these games, there has been high and lows. One of the biggest highs I experienced with you was against St. Norbert this year. Sam hit a walk-off double to get the 1-0 win over St. Norbert. Off the field, we have made countless memories together, whether it's playing cards, late summer nights, or rooting against the Blackhawk and Packers. <laughs> I love looking back on all these great memories we've made, and I can't wait to make more. No matter where you go in life, I know you're going to do great things and impact many people along the way. Because of you, I am a better person. You are soon approaching your final game, lacing up those cleats and stepping onto the softball field for the last time as a Blue Gold. Words can't explain how much I will miss you next year. Softball will not be the same without you there. I wish, you could, I wish we could have had more years together as teammates, but I'm thankful for the time that we've had and the memories we have made. Your future is bright, and I'm thankful for having a lifetime friend like you to help me along the way. Love you, Sammy. Yeah. Our, our next senior is number 16, Lauren Blazek. already a hot mess, so I'm sorry. I've <laughs> been crying in a long time. <laughs> Today is the day where we get to celebrate all seven of these ladies' amazing accomplishments, the relations we've built with them, and the lessons we've learned from their leadership over the years. There's one lesson I've learned from playing with Lauren. That would have to be to always keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> I 
know you probably hate when I joke about our little incident too much, but when I'm old and can't remember anything, at least I'll have a nice scar on my face to remember you by. <laughs> Thankfully, the last three years has brought so many other wonderful memories that we'll always be able to look back on. Whether we're walking to class together because I've slept on your couch for three days straight, making Halloween costumes late at night, or if we're at practice dancing and singing in the bullpen, you always have a way of making me laugh and reminding me to enjoy the little things in life. There's no denying that you have a long list of accomplishments, both academically and on the field, but it's your intangibles that will leave the biggest mark in this program and on each of our lives. You've shown us what it looks like to have grit, determination, and a passion for the game that inspires us all to be better every day we take the field. One thing I love about you as a player is that you provide so much leadership with the example you set through your own play that you would never even have to say anything to lead us. Your fierce attitude and desire to attack every challenge head on without backing down is something that each of us wants to get behind and is also a quality that will take you far in life. I know you will be so successful in your future career and all the people that you will help will feel just as blessed to have met you as I do. So thank you. Lauren Genevieve, Princess of Genovia, <laughs> to one of the best pitchers in blue gold softball history, to the chick who has a random talent of rapping every single word in lip gloss, and to one of my best friends. Thank you for four years of unrelenting hard work, for four years of determination to succeed, and for four years of pushing everyone around you to be the best version of themselves, just like you are every single day. You will be incredibly missed in the circle next season and leave huge shoes to fill. But I know that your leadership will have all these youngins prepared to take on the challenge because they will have learned from the best teacher there is. Love you long time, sister. Senior is number 17, Kelsey Meredith. The past two years, I've had the pleasure to get to know the beautiful soul that is Kelsey. This genuine, kind, creative, energetic, and thoughtful woman is truly a blessing on my life. When I first met Kelsey, I met this fast-running, hard-throwing, heavy pound-lifting girl who I never would have guessed to change my life as much as she did. Kelsey cares about us as teammates, but more importantly as friends. She wants to know what's going on in our lives outside of softball. Her famous line is, how was your day? Tell me about it. It's a little question that has a big meaning. Kelsey makes us think by asking the tough questions and challenging us to grow every day. Not only has Kelsey pushed the entire team to do their best on the field and in the weight room, but she's pushed us in ways outside of softball. Personally, Kelsey reached out to me as a freshman and helped reignite my relationship with Christ. She's challenged me in my faith and pushed me to be the person that I am today. The impact that Kelsey is leaving behind on not only me, but many others on the team is more than just a four-year softball career, but an eternity filled with joy and grace. I am truly going to miss the laughs, tears, sweat, and triumphs I've shared with Kelsey. I know that wherever God brings her next, she will be used in a multitude of ways, just like she was on this team. Kels, I'll miss you so much. I love you a lot. I'll keep you in your prayers, and I'm excited to see where you'll go. And our final senior is Rachel Heffel. workers on the team. You show up day in and day out ready to go and give it your all. Whether it's intentional or not, you constantly encourage others to be their best. You bring the intensity out of players that keeps us fighting. You have so much passion and pride for the game of softball. Never lose that fire. I'll miss yours and Sam's constant bickering in the outfield 
your sassy comments, and holding you up at home plate. I'm sure no one will forget your in the park grand slam, because who does that as a slogger? I could go on and tell everyone how great of a softball player you are, but as we all know, softball is just what you do, not who you are. Who you are is so much more important. You're an ambitious, persistent, and reliable person. The passion you have for softball carries over to other aspects of your life as well. The passion you have for others and teaching is admirable, and your creativity will translate well over the classroom. I'll miss your kind spirit here, but I know God has greater plans for you. The kids who have the fortune of calling you their teacher one day will be the luckiest kids in the world. Thanks for always being yourself, Ray. Don't let the big, scary, real world dim your smile or change who you are, because who you are is great, and I'm blessed to have gotten to know you these past two years. We love you, Ray. Keep shining. I'm not going to say much because I'm going to cry more than I'm going to talk. So I couldn't have said it any better than these ladies did. But this is the largest senior class that we've had in the 16 years that I've been the head coach here. And I think that that speaks volumes about the young women that are standing before us right here. Their selflessness, their team first attitude, their work ethic. Sorry. Their desire to be successful. Um, they've inspired each other. They've pushed each other. They've inspired so many other players. And the thing that I say every year about seniors is that their legacy lasts far beyond their senior year. As these young players return next year and continue to teach the lessons that you guys have taught them, your legacy will last forever. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's not over yet. I don't know why I'm crying. But um, this is a really, really special group. And I love you guys. And thank you guys for everything that you've given to this program. You're just awesome. Thank you.